This bill is an affront on the moral morality of the provision of American health care. Accessibility, affordability, quality, responsiveness, innovation, and choices. Those are the six principles that, that I believe we ought to make certain we adhere to. Current law of the land violates every one of those principles. With the Supreme Court ruling that it's constitutional, doesn't mean that it's good policy uh, for the country. This law is making it more difficult for them to have access to the highest quality of care. We're moving away from, not even on the right trajectory, to get to patient-centered health care. As a physician, when patients and their families and their doctors are not allowed to independently decide what care should be provided, we lose more than our health care system. We lose our morality and we lose our freedom. And, and what we're seeing today is uh, uh, a documentation of this train wreck. Uh, by overwhelming numbers, the American people say they don't like the patient's health care law and, and the taxes that go along with it. This bill whether known or not, is an oppressive affront to every single American. When you hear the president say, if they've got, if anybody's got a better idea, you know, we'd like to sit down and talk about it. Uh, well, the fact of the matter is we've asked the president over and over and over to sit down and talk about it, and he has refused at, at, at every single turn. We hear from our friends on the other side that there aren't any alternatives. I just keep reminding them about H.R. 2300, which is a comprehensive piece of legislation. Patient-centered health care puts patients and families and doctors in charge of, of health care, not Washington, D.C. You as an individual, every single American knows best what kind of coverage they ought to have.